Well, the Prime Minister is also continuing his tour of various government agencies which fall under his office. His latest stop was the Department of Lands and Surveys. Sieska Adderley was there. It will not be business as usual where you are dictated to by any politician and don't ever let it happen again. That's the message Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Hubert Minnis wanted the staff at the Department of Lands and Surveys to know during his visit to the East Bay Street Agency on Wednesday. Since being elected, the Prime Minister has toured various government agencies to get a first-hand account of working conditions. Land is wealth and you play a very, very important role and it's essential for us to ensure that you have the necessary equipment. I know that we have a shortage of land surveyors. I'm told there's only one for the entire family island. And it's our program moving forward. We want to ensure that the young people within the Bahamas um, receive adequate land so that they can embark not only on business but also their um, accommodation. Dr. Minnis pledged his government's commitment to ensuring that land is placed in the hands of Bahamians for the right reasons. But he admits there is no overnight fix to the issues facing the department. Still, the Prime Minister's visit is a start in the right direction. Acting Surveyor General Thomas Ferguson highlighted the significance of Dr. Minnis' visit to the department. I'm certain you would have found that you've re-energized them because it's the first minister who's visited us since uh, Mr. Peter Bethel in 89. About, thereabouts, uh, we did have a, a junior minister who visited us some time ago, but you're the first minister who's visited us since that time. And I'm certain you've built the morale just by your visit alone. The Prime Minister promised to return so that staff can voice their concerns to him in more depth. He also reminded them that in his capacity as Prime Minister, he remains a servant and must report to them because it's now the people's time. C.S. Gowderly, ZNS Network News.